don't put logic in core data models. Don't put logic in Swift UI views or UI kit views or view controllers. Keep the logic as pure, like structs and classes. It doesn't inherit, doesn't import any framework. Just That's foundation, it. if necessary. <laughs> no, yeah. like basic constructs. And you build all your logic there, you test it, just pure functions, you know, input, output, state transitions. And then you might have to create a tiny view model that, inherit, that implements observable object and provides the publishers that SwiftUI needs to update itself. But all the logic here shouldn't even depend on combine core data or things like that, because then it's going to be much easier to maintain this application and evolve this application throughout the years with the framework changes because SwiftUI is evolving, evolving, just like UIKit. You know, at some point there were no collection views in UIKit and then there were collection views. But if all your logic was in a table view controller, it would be very hard to migrate to collection views. And then yeah. there were stack views and then there were so many other things that you keep adding and improving the framework. And if you want to be always up to date and being able to, you know, take advantage of the new technologies, you need to decouple logic from view from ui yeah and that's what mvc tries to bring that's why mvvm all those patterns they try to provide you like uh, guidelines for this separation